I've seen arguments levied online that self-referentiality is inherently damaging when it comes to definitions, but I just don't know if I agree with that. Law is self-referential. I mean, how many times? I don't know. There might be complexities behind this that I can't fully appreciate, but, you know, using the term a woman is a person, like a woman is a social label that people ascribe to themselves in order to affect their relationship to society at large, I think that might actually be a good usable definition in the future, you know? Doesn't that work? I think that works. It also opens up the conversation a little bit better because it it starts to... It, it, it focuses the conversation on the definition of the word itself rather than the concept of self-referentiality. Okay, yeah, okay, from the future I'll do that, you know? Doesn't that mean then that the definition is relegated to society's opinion of you as a woman as understood by society itself? Well, it's a label people ascribe to themselves in order to affect self-perception and outward perception, but that doesn't mean the treatment they receive as a product of it is valid. Like, if you really get down to it, the reasons why people, like especially trans people, go by their gender vary a lot. Some trans people self-ID. Let's we'll just talk about trans men, because we always talk about trans women, okay? Some trans men do so because there's an internal dialogue they have with themselves and they just feel more comfortable in that dialogue if they can regard themselves as, a, as one type of person, a man, rather than another type of person, which is totally valid. By the way, we've all done that. How many of you have struggled with something in your lives and then thought, oh, I'm X type of person, and it categorizes, conceptualizes, and focuses your thoughts? Maybe you're a morning person. Maybe you're an introvert. Maybe, fuck it, maybe you're a gamer. I don't know. These are terms that we use internally and externally, or autistic, yeah, internally or externally, in order to give greater clarity and purpose to uh, our relationships with others and with ourselves. So even if you were one person alone on an island and you would never meet another human being in your life, say you're the last one alive, and you're a trans guy, or, or sorry, you, you, you're assigned female at birth, you might realize you're a trans guy, even if no one is ever going to lay their eyes on you again, purely because it helps you better conceptualize the relationship that you have to yourself, you know? Why not use performativity theory to define it? Because there are cis and trans women who don't perform womanhood, you know? There are trans women who do not, like, by their own design, do not dress or anything like women. And there are cis women who also don't. Performativity theory would mean that, like, butch lesbians are men, which I know it's more complicated than that. And I think the performativity theory is a useful theory in some ways, but I don't think it's holistic, you know? Uh, anyway, but with regards to gender, there are also labels that you can self-apply in order to affect the way others treat you, you know? So, for example, with regards to, um, let me think of a good example for myself. Like, let's just say introvert, okay? When you call yourself an introvert, you know, like, are, am I an introvert? You know, uh, so on. Uh, what you're doing, in a way, is you're contextualizing internal dialogue, and you're making it easier for other people to treat you in a given way. So before, people might have been disappointed that you weren't accepting their party invites. But now they're like, oh, yeah, you know, uh, Vosh is an introvert. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Vosh just likes playing World of Warcraft and staying in the dorm, you know? It, it's a way of affecting people's treatment of you, you know? Like a, a badge that you could wear on your chest. Now, obviously, gender being a really powerful, all-encompassing, and important component of people's treatment of one another, uh... It functions the same way, just maybe more holistically. Does that make sense? The word introvert has content. Um, yeah, it, it tends to describe stuff, but not always. Not always. Guys, I am introverted, but I love public speaking. I adore public speaking. I adore, I love it so much. I would do it for hours. When I was in classes in school, I would make a deliberate effort to fight within my own group projects to make sure I was the person who got to speak it publicly. But, and Vermin can attest to this. I despise public situations. I get exhausted and I want to go home. That's an unusual type of introvert. There are also introverts who can do a ton of 
extroverted social interaction, they just need longer to recharge afterwards. Introversion broadly describes something, but it's not an exclusive term. Does that make sense? That is to say, the term introvert has content, so does womanhood, but it's not an exclusive definition, you know? You can be an introvert, and it may be in a stereotypical way, and it may not be, but, like, it's not like, oh, if you don't meet this criteria, you can't be an introvert. It's also been phased out psychologically. Yeah, well, I'm not, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm not, why didn't you explain it like that at the debate? Because I'm feeling this out right now. I haven't had a real trans debate in like four or five months, okay? Give me a four or five? It's been a while. Hold on, isn't every definition self-referential? Yes. Eventually, all definitions end up self-referential if you cycle them through far enough, which is why I don't think self-referentiality precludes the utility of a definition. But if we can find a way to circumnavigate that, then okay. Okay. Yeah, what is the definition of Vosh? Somebody who calls himself Vosh, yeah. Like, unironically, a person's name. What is a person's name? A person's name is their name. Like, how do you know what a person's name is? Well, a person's name is the name that they'll say their name is. You can say that some names are, like, legally recognized, but I don't think anyone here would argue that only a legally recognized name is a valid name, you know? A sound they respond to? Yeah, but that also describes... Hey! 